What's up YouTube, it's your boy Carventure Reg and welcome back to another video and in today's video I got my Q50 right here, a little dirty, uh, actually I just tried to clean it a little bit earlier but you know, it is what it is, did a little ghetto wash but we still got a lot of bugs on there, should have sprayed some on the window but it's besides that, this video I know you guys see the title and the thumbnail, um, I'm going to tell you how I keep my Q50 safe. So three things I use to keep my Q50 protected to where if someone tries to steal it, they won't be so successful. So let's go ahead and get into that. So I know you guys have heard about all the Q50 or G37s or even HR G35, even some older model G35s that has pushed to start, 370Zs, 350Zs, whatever got a push to start, they're getting stolen right now. It's hot. It's hot for the Nissan Infinity platform right now. So uh, with all these things that I'm telling you guys to do, I hope you guys do it. If you guys haven't watched how to keep your Q50 protected, where I was telling you guys about kill switches and um, other things just to keep your uh, Infinity protected or Nissan, whatever you got, go ahead and watch that. But today I'm about to show you guys three things that I have to keep mine protected. So the first thing that I have, um, we're gonna go in the car. Actually, we're gonna go in the car for the rest of the video. So the first thing I have is a steering wheel lock right here. Um, this is vital, you know what I'm saying? Is People could easily break this apart and it's just the basic one. I actually bought a, a better one. I just never put it on yet, but this is vital. A lot of times when people see this, they're not gonna wanna do the extra mile to take this off and stuff like that. So this is more so for visual, um, the where they like, okay, well, I'm cool. I ain't gonna get this one. So all you have to do is just do this simple that's how you put it on just like that so nine times out of ten people will see this like oh he got a steering wheel lock on his car so i don't want to take it so this is all just for visual um and then you know you lock it up with the key get out and then that way when you try to turn it's just gonna hit that and you know they can't really drive with this or whatever another thing that people use is also um a brake thing it's a brake lock or whatever i don't have that since i got the steering wheel lock and i have two kill switches on this car and i'm about to show you guys my kill switches the first kill switch which i showed you guys in the first uh how to protect your infinity or whatever i showed you guys that um it like kills the starter or whatever so right now it's not activated so i'm gonna turn it on see it starts right up right cool so now let me activate the kill switch all right, kill switch activated. Let's see. It's not gonna come on. Look, foot on the brake. Pressing the button. It's not gonna come on at all. You're done, you're cooked. But when I turn it back on, boom. You know what I'm saying? Turn the kill switch off. Now it starts right up. Now, now this is what I like. When I had got my car tuned, this is another type of kill switch that I put in this car to where basically like you need to enter the right pin to start the car. So I don't use this kill switch a lot. I will I will use this kill switch and that kill switch at the same time in the steering wheel lock if I'm going to a place where I know it's hot. So I know you're not getting the car at all. You're cooked. I might, I might have like a busted window or whatever, but at the end of the day, it's better than you, you know, taking my car or whatever. So watch this. So I'm about to do it right now. I can't show you guys my pen or nothing like that, but I'm gonna show you guys how it works. The car is gonna completely die and you won't be able to turn it on, so watch. So see how the car is running right now, right? I'm about to activate the tune kill switch right now. <laughs> it's over, it's over. And you know, I could do that while the car is running. So you try to take my car, I put that, <laughs> do whatever I gotta do, it's over. So watch me try to start it up. over you're not gonna get it <laughs> you're cooked but once i restart it back perfect everything runs good so those are the three things that i use for my q50 and we're just gonna go step outside the car again and give you guys a brief summary of pretty much everything so steering wheel lock bro like literally like 50 to 80 bucks depending on which one you get definitely would cost you uh for not you know getting your car stolen 
a kill switch. You can get a kill switch from Amazon or go to your local stereo shop where I did mine. I don't have the link to mine because I had got it done at a stereo shop, my local stereo shop, and I don't know what brand it is. They just installed it for me and I was only $100. The tune, you know, I tuned the car, of course, and then he also put that little kill switch on for me. Um, and you can also get something to where you could turn off your fuel pump too, as well. So, you know, if your fuel pump is not working and the car is not starting at all. So, I would definitely recommend a cheaper option is I would definitely recommend just going to your local stereo shop and getting them to install a kill switch or buying one on Amazon or whatever. Uh, they only be, you know, 50 to to $100, which is not bad. Protects your car and all that. And then getting a steering wheel lock for visual reasons. Even if you have the kill switch, get the steering wheel lock. Because nine times out of 10, people will come up to your car and they'll be like this. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have no steering wheel locked up, like, okay, bam, I'm, you know, they're gonna enter through this sunroof right here and they're gonna get in. And then even though you got a kill switch, they can't start it, they, you still got a broken glass, bro. So if they look and they be like, oh, he got a steering wheel lock nine times out of 10, they may not even mess with it. They're just gonna go to the next. So another thing that I wanna educate you guys on real quick is just because you got tents, don't save you, okay? So that means you can't just leave like computers or money inside the car thinking that nobody will see it. Don't matter how dark your tent is. I have 35% on the windshield and I have 5% all around. Now, if I walk up like this, you can't really see really too much of nothing, right? But that's a lot of bipping going on and bippers are smart. So all they have to do is just do this. Putting y'all on game, man. See how you can kind of see? Oh, there you go, right there. See how you can see? All through there, right? Boom, right there. See how you can see? But that's all they gotta do is pull out their phone if they got an iPhone or whatever, and then look through your stuff and see what you got, and then they'll just bip it. So, um, tents don't save you also, you guys. So. Do yourself a favor by not leaving anything valuable in your car. If you don't want your car to get stolen, easily just put a steering wheel lock or a kill switch. If you have a garage, park it inside a garage. These cars do get stolen a lot. Um, and if you want to protect your investment, I know a lot of you guys do a lot of stuff to you guys' car. You know, you guys put superchargers, turbos, you know, you guys are FBO, you guys do tunes, you know, you guys do cosmetic stuff. And if you don't want that to get stolen, you know, you don't want your money to go down the drain, just do those simple things by putting a steering wheel lock and a kill switch. And if you have a garage, Park it in a garage just so you can keep your stuff safe. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this video was useful uh, to you guys. And I will be making more type of content like this just to keep you guys educated or whatever. But, you know, just please listen. Just do those two simple things and it will cost you your car. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Day, what's that I fall off? Stood 10 toes, never fall young. Finna ball off. And it's still west side past Dean